Hey everyone, this is my May Favorites 2012 video and I just noticed that my iron is in the background so sorry about that but hey, at least you know I iron my clothes, right? So, um, I just have a few things for you but they're things that I really like because I don't always do monthly favorites. I just do them when I have things I really want to share with you. So the first one is a really pretty nail polish and it is by Sally Hansen. And it's their Hard as Nails collection. And the color is Hardcore Party. It's number 160. And, oh, I should have put it on. But I don't have it on today. Um, but it is a gorgeous color. And it is a very fresh, um, neutral color. And I wanted it because I've been looking for just a really light pink, fleshy tones color for a while and I haven't been able to find one. They're either a little too PG for me or a little too whitish pink but this one was spot on so this is definitely a favorite of mine this month and I'll insert a picture of another one that I thought was pretty as well but it ended up not being very opaque and when I did apply four coats it was a little too white cast so it just wasn't what I was looking for and I believe that one was from I don't remember Rimmel maybe or Revlon and it was $3.99 and this one was $1.99 or right around there so a really great deal Okay, so next thing is this Dream Mousse by Maybelline, and it is a blush, and it is in the color 25 Rose Petal, and I think I've mentioned this before in my favorites video. It's really pre it's a really pretty blush, but I use it as a lip product. It's gorgeous. I wish I could convey to you how pretty this looks, but if you just pat a little bit with your finger pat it on your lips. It is so beautiful and I would put it on now if you won't be able to see it. Um, it has a few sparkles in it and I don't like sparkles in nail polish really and eyeshadows and lip products and bronzers. Like I, I don't really like sparkle but I don't mind it with this. I don't care. This makes my lips look so pretty and I have a few ideas of how the formulation could be changed or tweaked just a bit to make it an even better lip product because like I said this is a blush. This isn't um, meant to be for the lips but I have a few ideas of what I, I wish I had um, a cosmetic company. This is amazing. It's kind of like a lip stain but um, it's 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 fantastic. If you have one of these, I highly encourage you to go try it on as a lip product because it's amazing. Okay, so my next favorites are shoes. And these are Carlos Santana heels. And they are so gorgeous. And I love them very much. And I realized or I've come to notice that shoes that are open on the inside really elongate your um, legs and it's just because more of your skin shows through and especially if it's um, open toed then it just helps to create that long effect and I am right around 5'4 I think I'm a little short so I really love these and in the sunlight I don't know if it's catching up but it's um it's like a burgundy color a pink color a little bit of yellow uh, and purple, it's just gorgeous, and it looks like snake skin um, in the sun a little, it shimmers a little, but this is gorgeous. You can find a lot of Carlos Santana shoes, I believe, on zappos.com, so yes, these are gorgeous. Um, another thing that is my favorite this month is this keychain wallet, and this is from Express. And I had a little bit of difficulty trying to get this, but this is what it looks like. It has card slots here, a little pocket here, a little pocket here, and then of course ID, a holder. Oh, and then it says, it's from Express right there, I don't know if you can see. But I first saw these when I went to an Express in Chicago, and they had a little stand, and they had a bunch of these in different colors. Um, a lot of neons, bright pinks, yellows, um, what else? Pinks, yellows, greens, I think an orange, but um, a lot of different colors and I didn't pick it up because I didn't really need it then. I just thought I'd pick it up some other time. I actually don't know why I didn't get it then. But then I had been thinking about it and I really wanted it and I went online 
and I couldn't find it. So then after a while, um, I saw that it was in the sales section instead of the accessory section. And so I went into the store um, because I saw that there was free shipping if you order from in the store. And so I asked them to look it up and they couldn't find it. So then I came back home, I looked it up and it said it was on sale for $10 and that it would be um, $8 shipping if I was to order it. But they would lower the price to $7 because it was a special sale. But I ended up going back to the store and purchased this. And this is in the color blush if you're wondering. Um, I don't know if they have any left, but um, it's a really good size. It's actually close to the size of my phone because I have a brick, <laughs> a brick phone. I guess smartphones are this size too, but um, it ended up being $10 free shipping and it came to my house, so that's really good. I just grab this when I'm on the go on my phone. Or sometimes I even forget my phone because since I don't have a smartphone, it's not life-changing for me. But anyway, um, I really, really enjoy this. I used to have a black one from 579 that I think was around 3 no more than $5, but it broke within two weeks. So I'm hoping that the quality of this is a little bit higher. So we will see. And then the last favorite, I know that these things are a little bit random, a little bit of beauty, a little bit of accessories. But um, the last thing is my Apple iPad. And this is the original iPad. I don't have iPad 2 or iPad 3. My family members do. But this is the iPad that I have and it's really good especially if you travel a lot um, I was watching a video but yes um, it's great for writing on the go or if you have internet access you know you can see anything on this and um, people I've heard don't like the keyboard aspect they can't type really well but it's it's very easy to get a hang of, at least I found. I don't have huge fingers, I guess, but um, you can also, I guess I'll try and type something for you. And it also has cool features, like if you know how to, if you know how to work it, it has different features. Actually, that didn't do anything. Sorry, I'm out of shot. So here's this video, if you want to close it, you just go like that, and I don't know, I just think it's cool. But um, as far as the keyboard goes, like if you want to search for something, instead of just typing it in like this, you can go like that and do it like you're playing a video game or like you're texting. So I don't find um, it to be hard to maneuver. But I love this. Plus there are a lot of awesome free apps that you can get. And so the game's options are limitless. Well, I'm sure there's a limit, but, you know, there are a lot of games. And there is one game that I want to show you all, and it's called Puzzle Juice. And one of my brother's friends actually made it. So, little plug for him. I don't know this person, by the way, who made this game. I just honestly love Puzzle Juice. It's basically... Um, Scrabble married with Tetris. Puzzle juice. I'm trying to show you the icon. Okay, this is what it looks like. Puzzle juice. Click that. Here it is. Can you hear it? So what you do is you drag and then it creates words and then you select the words. I'm trying to see so you can you select the words. And um, it's just really, really cool. If you like Tetris or if you like Scrabble, it's awesome and amazing. So uh, yes. I know that was a little bit random, but those are my favorites for this month. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.